Hey guys, uh, so today I just wanted to update everyone on how it was uh, shooting the MMP 9mm uh, compact today for the first time. Um, I am pretty disappointed. Um, first thing, the first shot out, it, I guess you would say what they call it, a stovepipe. Uh, maybe limp wristing it or something of that matter. But um, we were shooting two different kinds of ammo. One of them was Winchester, and it was a hollow point, and they were probably about five years old. Um, a friend of my husband's, uh, a friend of my husband gave them to him, and then another box of ammo that we had was Remington, and they were just regular full metal jackets. Now, with the Winchester, I didn't have a problem with it at all. I did not have any stove pipes. Um, it went through smoothly, but whenever I shot the Remington. There was about four um, or five stovepipes. And that was the first round that I ever shot was the Remington. The first shot that went off, um, that's what happened. Now, it could be me limp wristing it. I'm not for sure. But my husband also did it. And it did the same thing a couple of times to him. Another thing that I want to talk about is um, it had maybe about four to five times failure to eject. Um which is kind of pissing me off a little bit because when I had my SIG, I never had a problem with stove piping or um, failure to eject or anything like that. Another problem I had with it was um, when it was clear, the slide, did not, uh, the slide did not lock back. And that happened maybe about five, six times with me and my husband shooting it. Um, so I don't know if it's me or if it's the gun or not. And then, last but not least, which pisses me off to the max, my front sight came out. So, you can see it's white on the back sight, and on the front sight, it is not. So, that irritates me a lot. Also, um, we just bought my dad for Christmas, also an M&P 9mm compact, and we bought it from um, a private seller. But this one I bought at a local gun shop, and I bought his for maybe $40 less um, than what I got mine for. Now, what irritates me the most is um, inside here, I don't know if you can see. You can see that little stick right there. Okay, well, beside that, but under it, it's supposed to be the extractor. Now, mine does not have that. My dad's does. And, um, no, sorry, this one is the extractor, which you can't really see it because the lighting is bad. Now, my extractor is way smaller than my dad's, way smaller. And then below that, um, beside it but below, there is another stick. I can't believe, uh, I can't remember what my husband called it. I think it had to do with the, like, the magazine that pushes the ammo up into the chamber. I'm not for sure. Uh, I have to ask him. But there's another stick that is supposed to be sticking out that mine does not have, that my dad's does have. So I'm not for sure if this is an older gun um, that they just didn't tell me. I asked them if it was new, if it was a newer model, and if it was brand new. And so far, I am not too happy with my purchase at all. Um, so if anyone has any recommendations on what I should do, um, right now what we're thinking is Tuesday uh, when they're open... We're going to go by the gun shop that we actually took it to, talk to them, see what they have to say, and then um, possibly go from there. But if any of y'all have any recommendations, uh, please let me know because right now I'm just totally upset with my purchase and that's not what I was looking forward to. So I will see y'all guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.